Let's see me go ahead and drop some seven seven sevens in the chat, right? Is it Lucia? I don't want to say it wrong. It's Lucia, right? Lucy, all right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. We'll, we'll, we'll go with Lucy. I got you. First and foremost, let's give it up for Lucy, man. Give it up for Lucy. Coming on in with good energy, right? You know, being able to go ahead and help, you know, you know, really start the call off. And, and a lot of people take for granted how a call is start off, right? The, the, the call has to be sparked somehow, right? The call has to be, you know, really, you, you got to be able to come with a different type of energy, specifically when you're when you're coming to edify somebody who's about to come and just bring value, right? You know, if we had Mr. For, Mr. Christopher Terry or if we had Alex Warren on here, you want to come on and set the tone for individuals that's on here because, you know, I don't want people to sit back. I want you to get up out your seat really quick because I want you to understand that like, what we have is super, super powerful when it doesn't matter whether it's going it's happening for you or or it's happening for somebody else there's impact going on every single day every single day right so first and foremost let me go ahead and introduce myself really really quick um so that you know you guys can know who i am and you know we can kind of like you know really create some transparency first before i go ahead and give you some uh some tangible things that you know that we should be doing to go ahead and uh you know cook up now who's been in here for just just before i go and before i go on who's been in here for about let's say who's been in here for a year plus uh drop a seven in the chat i just want to know who i'm working with who i'm speaking to tonight um so that we can go ahead and you know do things the right way okay cool we have some people okay if you okay okay cool if you've been doing what we're doing for about five, uh, let's say six months, six months plus, go ahead and drop a, a set, uh, eight in the chat, right? Go ahead and drop an eight in the chat, just so I can see, right? I drop an eight in the chat, six months plus. And if you're six months and under, go ahead and drop a three in the chat. If you're six months and under, right? Go ahead and drop a three in the chat. If you're six months and under, if you're six months and above, you know, go ahead and drop that eight. Okay, okay, I like what I see. So we got we got people who just got in. We got people who've been in for a year, right? And we, we got people who's, who's closing in on that yearly mark right now. Okay, cool. We're cooking up now. We're cooking up. Cool. So really quick, family, you know, I want to go ahead and, you know, kind of just introduce myself so you guys can know who I am, right? You know, I'm C. John. I'm actually from the Bronx, New York. I've been doing this for three years now, right? And, um, you know, a little bit about me. You know, I grew up humble beginnings. You know, I didn't... I didn't have everything. I had the first hustler I ever seen in my in my entire life was my mom. You know, my mom would work two to three jobs just to be able to go ahead and make sure that we were good. And you know, I, you know, growing up, I just played a lot of sports, so that was really the only thing that I knew. So when I seen that my mom was actually, you know, going through some things, the only thing I could do is go in the room and do push-ups. That's the only thing I could do because I was like, Dad, I didn't have no money. I wasn't old enough to go ahead and get a job. You know, so I would just go clean up around the house. I would figure out what can I do to add value so that my mom wouldn't have to work as much when she came home, right? So, you know, I'd have the pots out. I'd have everything out just to be able to go ahead and make sure she was good. And my mom told me, you know, go to school, get good grades, to get a good job. So I managed to go to college, right? I went to college and I'll be honest, I didn't go to college for school. I went to college to play sports, right? I played division two football. Um, at Erie, Pennsylvania, Ganey University, right? So I played there and I was a lot more bigger than I am now. I'm about 170, I was about 190, 195 around there, right? And, you know, I kept my grades just enough to be able to play sports. Like I wasn't, school wasn't my thing. I didn't like math, I don't like science, I still don't like them, right? And I was just like, man, it, it, it has to be another way, you know? But I always figured out how to um, and, and this is how I knew this business was for me because I was always resilient during that, that process. You know, I was the kid where, you know, I was sitting in the class and I didn't know nothing that was going on in the science class, the psychology class. I didn't know nothing that was going on. But I said, you know what? This person keeps raising their hand. Me and them are gonna have a conversation after we get out of class. Right, so it, it was an even exchange. I was like, yo, you get this work. I don't really get it. You know, can we can we figure out how to get lunch and talk about it? You know, and it was 
me not accepting to fail right then and there. I was like, yo, I'm not getting, I'm not getting an F in this class. I'm just not. So, you know, I guess it's a New York City thing, you know, having self-awareness, you know, being able to see, you know, not accept failure. I was like, yo, somebody's raising their hand. They know the answers in this thing. Like right? nobody, it's not rocket science, right? So I, I went in, you know, and I was able to go ahead and, you know, pass those grades and everything like that. And then I, I got a book rich that poured that, you know, towards the end of my semester, you know, of me graduating. And I said, man, like, I don't want to work. I don't want to work for nobody now. I don't want to work for nobody, right? So, you know, that happened, you know, just a few jobs that I worked before, you know, I used to work at a radio station, you know, I also used to do marketing for the NBA D League and, and PA. Um, and then I went to, I went back to New York City, worked at a sports facility with younger kids and an after school program. So I was working those two jobs. And then later on, I got recruited to be a school teacher. I was actually teaching at a charter school. I was teaching third, fourth and fifth grade. So I was making around 60K a year at a charter school, you know, the school that I was working at, we didn't have regular school lunch. We had private chefs there. You know, these kids that I was working with were very, very privileged. You know, we had a lot of good things going on. I loved what I did at the time, you know, but I, I knew I was meant for more, you know, and, you know, I met an individual named Gustavo, you know, you know, Mr. Wealthy Pips, you know, he just hit Chairman 50 and I, I managed to meet him on social media. I saw him on IG Live, right? You know, that's a hint, you know, I'm gonna get back to that. All right, he, he went on IG Live and he was telling his testimony. I so happen to click on it. I hear the, you know, I hear he dropped out of high school and cleared multiple six figures in a trading space. So I said, wait, hold on, that, that I, I don't get it. Like I got a college degree, how come he's making more money than me? You know, so, you know, from there, you know, he, he took me under his wing. Um, you know, I was probably one of the easiest signups that he probably got because I knew what I wanted. I was dictating the pace of this conversation. Like, it wasn't he was, I went in with the intentions that I knew what I wanted to get out of it. I said, listen, I don't need you to guarantee me no money. I just need you to show me how to do it. You show me how to do it, I could go get it. Whatever I put my mind to, I get things done. This is just my personality. This is the type of person that I am. So he was like, all right, cool, bro. Like, you know, like, like you talk to anybody. You know, and after that, I was like, okay, cool. A year later, I leave my job. A year later, I hit Chairman 10. Two years. That's it. Two years. That's it. You know, and, and now, you know, three years in the game, you know, definitely going to hit Chairman 25 this month. You know, we're not going to talk about how close we are, but we're very close. Very close, gonna go ahead and hit that. And you know, I'm super blessed and grateful. None of this will happen if it wasn't if it wasn't for me having faith, if it wasn't for me believing in myself, you know, and being able to have, you know, and serve and you know, do things through the grace of God. So the first thing I wanna do is I definitely wanna thank, you know, my creator because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go off that, you know. Um, and then we'll talk about the physical, tangible things that you need. But I'm going to be honest, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the physical aspects, right? I mean, the, the, the spiritual aspects, right? So we'll go over some of those things, right? And then we'll go over, uh, you know, what you, what you actually need to be doing to get to the next level, okay? Um, if that's cool and you're okay with that, let's go ahead and drop some 888s for abundance in the chat, right? So we can go ahead and get right, okay? All right, let's go ahead and drop some 888s, right? All right, cool. We're, we're in it right now. We're in it. Right. So, you know, the first thing I want to I want to let you know is that, listen, like one thing I tell you right now and I dive heavily into the book, you know, number one thing I know is that God is not the author of confusion. So if you're confused about this whole business, <laughs> that's not that. I don't know if you're listening to the right thoughts. You got to really figure out, you know, who is the author of your thoughts? Is it is it is it is it negative? Right. Or is it or is it positive? Right. We know where these positive thoughts come from. It comes from that source. Right. You know, call God. We know G.O.D., the big boss. We know that who's the author of those thoughts. But when you when you're confused and he said in the, he said in the great book, God is not the author of, of, of confusion. you got to understand the perspective of that. Like he's not necessarily looking to go out and confuse you. You know, I, I don't I don't see where it says in the book that it says that he's, he's looking to confuse you. Right. So at the end of the day, right, you know, I want you to start having more conversations with Mr. G.O.D., okay? I want you to go ahead and do that because it's going to help you allow you to unlock some thoughts, right? You know, so, you know, one thing, you know, what I will say is that, you know, I, I've been having a lot of conversations with God, right? And, you know, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm realizing that 
you know, things are just, it's just happening, right? And, you know, belief and, and this faith, you know, people talk about it all the time, right? But I'm gonna really show you how to really tap into it, you know, the way you really need to, because, you know, you don't necessarily have belief unless you're taking action. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Like, you could tell me you believe all the time, you could pray and get on your knees all day, but unless I see results, how do I know you, know, you, you're not going to make it seem like my creator is a liar because I know whatever my creator puts his hand on, it's, it's, it's going to be whatever I speak because when I speak, words come out. What do words do? Words create. You can create with your words. Words are powerful. That's why they say power in the tongue. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm literally going to go ahead and show you like, you know, from the belief standpoint to the faith standpoint, you know, faith is backed by action. Faith is backed by action. It's only going to happen that way, right? You know, so I want you to understand that who's speaking like they got a, a, a who's speaking like they got a, a million dollar opportunity? Who's speaking like, okay, you know what? You know, we, we got Arlette, we got Kim Torres, we got two. You guys don't understand the goal of educators that you have that, I'm going to be honest, like, if we had, if we had freaking... Kim and and, and, and and freaking, you know, Arlette as our as our as our uplines, we'll be going crazy. Like I'm talking about, like we'd be going insane. Not just to be a fan, but we'd be going insane. We're getting multiple people on this call. Listen, are you aware that my my two mentors is actually trading for a million a multi million dollar platform? Like, are you aware of that? And you can go ahead and log it. Like, you got to understand, like, the perspective. So, guys, I want you to be able to go ahead and, one, you know, don't be scared to go ahead and, and, and get the mentorship from those individuals, right? You got to understand that gratitude is the seed for more. So, showing them gratitude every single day is going to be a super, super big thing because now somebody could go ahead and help you get to another level because they see that you're willing to get coached. You, you have a good heart. Like, I measure leaders by their heart. I don't measure them by what rank they're at. I want to see where your heart is at because at the end of the day, you know, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't necessarily know everybody has the best intention. I'm just understanding. I'm just letting you guys know that, you know, sacrifice is going to give you more momentum to your faith. So I don't know what you need to sacrifice during this season, but I'm letting you know that for you to get the results that you want to get through, get during this momentum, because we are in momentum right now, you're going to have to sacrifice something. And that may be hanging out with that friend that, that doesn't support you. That may be, you know, maybe giving a little bit more attention to your business instead of, you know, maybe, maybe your spouse that doesn't support you, right? You know, maybe family members that don't support you. You know, you got to be able to put your head down and understand that, like, yo, like, I'm ready to sacrifice because I understand that sacrifice is going to give me momentum to my faith. Sacrifice is going to give you momentum to your faith because understand that when you're sacrificing, there's no there's no manual saying, yeah, it's automatically going to happen for you. It's no manual saying that. But but with but through the grace of faith, right, the substance of things unseen, right, the things that you can't see right now physically, these are the things that you're sacrificing. Now you're going to go ahead and speak those things every single day. Um, the average person in network marketing that earns $5,000 to $8,000 a month, right, puts in about 40 days where they went all in. 40 days. And I'm talking about a day where you wake up, you on the phones, you're doing calls. You did so much that you're so tired when you you just go to bed and you're just like, man, I'm, I, I can't wait to go to bed. I can't wait to go to bed. Right now you can't wait to go to bed because you put in a hard day's work, right? You put in a hard day's of work. But understand this, family. What happens, right? And you can answer this me in the chat. If you work a job and you work overtime, does don't nine times out of ten, when you work overtime at your job, don't you make more money? Go ahead and drop a, a, a eight in the chat if you guys agree. Go ahead and drop an eight in the chat if you agree. If you work a job, and you put in overtime at your job, meaning you put more hours, typically they pay you more, correct? Right? They little add a little bit of extra to your, to your check, right? 
Family, understand you could take that same approach and you can put in overtime in your business and I promise you, it's not going to pay. It might not pay you right now, but it's going to pay you later. It's not going to pay you right now, but it's going to pay you later, right? So let's talk about some things that's really going to, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go ahead. You guys probably hear a lot of spiritual stuff all the time, but now I want to really get into the meat and potatoes, the things you need to be doing, right? Number one is you need to be marketing your business every single day. Number one is you need to be marketing your business every single day with the right intentions. If you're just doing it just to do it, doesn't count. It doesn't count. Right? Dress up your post. Put some put a location on it. Put a time frame on it. Put a poll, you know, put some gifs. Right? If you guys don't know, you get 32% more engagement when you put a gif on your story. Fun fact, you get 32, you get 30, 32% more engagement when you drop a GIF on your story, right? So we need to be posting out our business every single day. We need to be making sure that we have our face in the camera. I'm more likely to pick somebody who I see their face in the camera rather than somebody texting, uh, putting a text over black and just speak in their mind. I want to see your face every single day. Hey, what's going on? Guys, we having a set, we having a session this Sunday. You know, one of my mentors came to and you tag him, right? We're having a session. And then Monday, we're gonna start the, we're gonna start off with a bang. Whoever's looking to go ahead and make money in minutes, we got our let and you guys got leverage. You guys got leverage over and over. We need to go ahead and we need to be pushing that thing. We need to be marketing our business. Like it needs to be, oh, hey. I wanted to reach out to you. Oh, who, oh, Lucy, she's always posting you, so I just followed you in it. Okay, cool. And now Lucy gets to sign up now. Now Lucy gets to sign up. Right? It's going to take repetition because people didn't join my business, you know, the first month, second month. They had to see me get results. They had to see me post consistently over and over for me to go ahead and get the, get the results that I got. Some people even told me, right, for those of you who haven't been in for a year, some people even told me, they said, yeah, man, I was waiting for you to quit. I was waiting for you to quit, so I wanted to see if, if like, you know, after a year, you know, if you were still doing this, then I don't do it. I'm like, wait, what? Hey, you don't know who I am? Like, like I, I really put in work. Like, anything I do, I just, I just do it. And, you know, so, you know, understand, guys, we... I, I'm going to tell you right now, you're, you're going to have to post post every day, 10 times a day, 10 times a day. Like it's, it's, that's not a secret, family. That's that's not a secret, right? So understand that, right? So, guys, we're going to have to structure up. Everybody here should be looking to go ahead and hit, if you're not P600, should be looking to go ahead and hit P600. Plano 1000 is going to be your insurance. Plano 1000 is going to be insurance. You blow your account, you got 250 coming in every Friday. That's your insurance. But Platinum 600 at minimum, it's not hard. It's not hard, family. You got to structure up. You got to know how to show the plan. How many of you are hopping on? You got to hop on opportunity calls. Figure out. Let me hear how Arlette talks about the business. Let me hear how Kim Torres talks about the business. Take a bit of pieces from her. Take a bit of pieces from her. And I'm taking notes while I'm on the opportunity call. So when I do my opportunity call, I could do it exactly how they probably did it. Or I could take a little bit from her, take a little bit from her, take a little bit from him and put it all together. And then I could go ahead and make my own, make my own sauce. Right. You don't know enough yet. That's why you need more reps. That's why they tell you to fail forward fast. Shoot the DMs. But the, here's the thing is, you guys are shooting DMs with the wrong intentions. Ah, I'm scared. Ah, I don't really know. You, when you shoot a DM, when I'm shooting a DM, I'm like, I know they're going to answer. <laughs> I know. I just know. I, I send a voice note. Yeah, I just know they're going to answer. Family, you got to go ahead and go out there and put yourself out there. Like, you got to be willing to look crazy until it makes sense. Right? I'm going to give you, right, the triple R, triple P method, right? Triple R, triple P method, right? Here you go, right? Relationship. 
plus results equals residual income. So when you get your people that come into business, make sure you're building a relationship. No effective relationship and results, no residual. Right? So you got to understand that you apply that over and over. If you're having lack in your business, if something's not working in your business, guess what you need to do? Build, a, build an effective relationship. Right? How many, people, how many people here know everybody on their team's birthday? How many people know that? If you don't know their birthday, you need to make a notepad on your phone, right? And you need to take down everybody's birthday. I got everybody's birthday. Not everybody, but majority. My team is oh, a thousand plus. So you got to understand, like, I got mostly a lot of people's birthdays. A lot of my top leaders, I have their birthdays. All right, so we got to get the birthdays. How strong is the relationship? Do you know how they grew up in their childhood? You're not building an effective relationship. I thought we were building a family. You're not asking the right questions. You're not asking the right questions. All right? Triple P's, right? Prospect, present, promote. Simple stuff. Prospect, present, promote. Rinse and repeat. The triple R's, triple P's. Rinse and repeat. Phase one. All right? We got to get in phase one. Phase one is I need to go out and go impact. If I'm not talking to enough people, I'm not gonna go ahead. Some of y'all have any, some of y'all, some of y'all need, I ain't gonna lie, like, some of y'all need to go ahead and just hit the contacts. Like, just, just call somebody. Go, go over, you know, Kim's house, you know, go, go hang out with Arle. Yo, I'm gonna just call somebody. You, you just pick somebody and I'll just call somebody and from there we're good. The best way to develop your leaders, the best way to develop certain people in your business, rising leaders, right? Potential leaders is to role play. Yo, just call Arlette and just act like you invite her. Hey, what's going on, Arlette? And maybe she might make it tough for you. Maybe she might not even understand what's going on at first. But you still invite her. Hey, what are you doing tonight around seven? Cool, can I clear your schedule? Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you the information. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call you around that time. Cool, now that you're free around this time, download Zoom, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a link. What's this about? You're gonna see in a little bit. All right, be the best student to the coaching. That's another thing. Be the best student to the coaching. The best leaders are the best students. The best leaders are the best students. I don't know everything. Why do you think I go to Gustavo? Before I even do anything, I let Gustavo know before I actually do it. I don't just, hey, <laughs> yeah, bro, we're just doing a free trial. Like, what? No. Yo, bro, do you think it's okay if I could do, I'm not asking for permission. I'm just asking, like, does it make sense? <laughs> yes, sir, I think you need to be doing it. Okay, cool. <laughs> right? Keep learning and watching how to launch. You need to be launching every day. You need to be launching somebody every day. Somebody in your business needs to, if you're not launching, somebody in your business needs to be launching or you need to be launching that person for them. Setting people up properly. You can't just get people in the business. Cool. It's actually not that hard to get people in the business. So you get somebody in the business is, am I setting them up properly? Am I actually taking the time out? Because when you don't take the time out, guess what? You're not going to get to the next level. Every, every Sunday, I reach out to a bunch of people and I want to know if their accounts are funded. I'm not letting nobody go into the week without an account not funded. It just doesn't make sense. You're not set up for success to go make money. I want to make money. And you want to make money. So you're going to listen to follow instructions so we can get you to the next level. I need to get you paid. Then I need a list. 